Hi, my name is Arnel Castillo, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about how to migrate your WordPress site from Bluehost using the BoldGrid Backup plugin. Before you begin migrating your site, you will need to check on a couple things and make sure that certain settings are configured for the move. So the first thing you're going to need is the BoldGrid Backup plugin. If you don't have the BoldGrid Backup plugin already, it's as simple as going to the BoldGrid.com page and then going to Plugins and Features and selecting the Backup plugin. If you click on it, it will allow you to download the plugin. Note that the Backup plugin must be installed at both the original and the destination location. This means that WordPress must also be installed at the destination location. You should also consider turning off caching, disable security plugins for the move, and remove any files that may interfere with the restoration of your WordPress site at your destination location. To explain what we're going to be doing very simply is that we're going to be making a backup using the BoldGrid backup plugin at the Bluehost WordPress site and then moving that file to the new location at the InMotion hosting server and restoring it using the BoldGrid Backup plugin. So in order to make the backup at your original site, you would need to have the backup plugin loaded. And you'll need to be in the administrator dashboard for your WordPress site. So here I've logged into the dashboard and I've gone to the BoldGrid Backup site. When you first look at it, you can see that it's going to tell you you're running a particular version of the Bulgari Backup plugin. In this case, I'm running the premium version. And then it tells you the size of the website and the database size. If you're not using the premium version, you will be limited to the website size at one gigabyte. And the database size will be limited to 100 megabytes. Here you can see that I have 10 gigabytes available for the website and one gigabyte available for the database for your backup. This particular installation has already had a backup completed, which is the reason that you see a backup site now button here. If there was no backup completed for this particular installation, then this option would not be here. And if you scroll down here, you can see that there is already a backup in the archives here. And I can actually download it or restore or even delete it as you can see on the options here. As we're doing a migration of a site from Bluehost to the new location at InMotion, what you're going to be doing when you get to the InMotion server is actually choosing a file and bringing in the backup file from the Bluehost location. In order to see the settings for the backup plugin, you need to click on Settings under BullGrid Backup. And here again, you can see the website size, the database size, and then you see days of the week and time of day and retention for the first three options. And what you're doing right here is you're scheduling the time when the backup is being done. This is important because if you have a very large site and you're running the backup, it may affect the performance of your site depending on the server load. So you're going to want to choose a time to make your backup during off-peak hours when your website is not busy. The retention option allows you to keep up to 10 copies of your backup. In practice, you do not want to retain a large number of backups as they do occupy space on your server. For the next two options, you can see auto backup before updates and auto rollback. An auto backup before update basically performs a backup before WordPress updates. So anytime there's a WordPress update and you apply it, it'll back up your site first. The auto rollback basically is insurance for if there's a problem before performing any WordPress updates. So if you need to roll back or restore, you can use this option and it will automatically restore the site using a backup that was made before updating your WordPress site. This option will not work if you don't have a backup of your WordPress site before the update was made. The notification section basically is to let you 
know through email when the backup is complete. So you need to put in a valid email address here. Now, if you have a large backup, this is a good thing so that you don't have to sit there and watch it and make sure that it's completed. And also, if you're doing a large restoration, it's the same thing. Instead of having to wait for it to be completed and knowing when it's going to be done, it will notify you through email when it's completed. The backup directory option allows you to determine where the file will be stored. Once you've done making your settings changes and you're ready to make your backup, click on Save Changes. There's also a pre-flight check option which can be used before you make the backup in order to make sure that everything will work before you make the backup. And all you have to do is click on pre-flight check and it will check it. If it fails, you'll see the functionality test at the bottom say fail instead of pass. Once the backup is completed, click on backup archive. So at this point, you'll see that when the backup is completed, a file will be listed underneath the backup archives. And since we're doing a move of the site from Bluehost to the new InMotion hosting location, you're going to want to download that file. So click on download. Note the location where the file has been saved so that you can locate the file during the restoration process. So for the last part of the migration process using the Bulgrid Backup plugin is to actually go to your destination site. You should be logging into the WordPress installation that you have here and make sure that you have the Bulgrid Backup plugin loaded and then go to that plugin. So here I've gone to the Bulgrid Backup plugin and I'm going to go to the settings for it and I'm going to the Backup Archive section of the bold grid backup plugin. In this section, if you scroll down, you'll see an option called Upload a Backup Archive. So what we're doing here is we're going to be uploading the backup archive that you made from your original Bluehost site. In order to do that, you would click on Choose File, and then you would select the backup file that you downloaded earlier from your Bluehost site. One thing to note when you're actually trying to find the Bulgrid backup file is that it will always start with Bulgrid-backup. It must start with that. So if you're actually bringing a file that you've named something else and you want to restore that particular file as it is a backup of your uh, WordPress site, then you need to make sure that the name of the file begins with Bulgrid-backup. In this case here, I've chosen the file and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then once I've uh, selected it, I will click on upload. Note that as the file is being uploaded, that there is a file size limit here stated. This is by a default of 128 megabytes. If it's larger than that, you may need to make an adjustment in the local php.ini file. When the file has finished uploading to the web server, you'll see the file listed here underneath the backup archives. The last step that needs to be done in order to move the site from the old Bluehost server to the new InMotion hosting server is at this point to simply hit restore. You want to confirm that you're restoring this. And then when the restore has been completed, you'll see here the confirmation that the file has been successfully restored. In order to see your site at that at this point, it, you would need to basically log out and log back in. Then you should be able to see that your site has been restored from the old Bluehost site. There are a few more things that you should consider before you consider your site migration complete. You need to make sure that any hard-coded URLs have been updated to the new location URL. You also need to make sure that if caching was not turned off, that you clear those caches before you restart your site or you will have problems with some links within your posts or pages. You should also reset your WordPress permalinks, especially if they're custom. That way they can be rewritten to the new location. And also make sure that if you had a security plugin loaded and again you did not turn it off before you made the backup, that you make sure that the settings are And that you make sure that the settings for the security plugin are configured for the new location.
Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Also, if you could please leave a few comments below so that we could know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.